What is up, everybody? And welcome back to my channel, In The Sense. And today, y'all read the title. We have our top five dual fragrances for the summer for men. I don't know if I'm going to get around to somehow getting into the women fragrances. But for now, we're just doing men fragrances. And of course, if y'all know... Dual fragrances, most of them are unisex. So, ladies, if y'all watching this and y'all want to try this out for yourself, try them out. They're all hits, bangers, top five, duos for summer. Stick around. All right. So, coming in, our number five spot. This became one of my favorite scents from Dua. From the beginning, since I got it, as y'all know, this is this came from my first order of duos. This is Poseidon's Cologne. Yeah, this is my number five right here. From, of course, my duo collection. Okay, check out that label. Beautiful underwater label right there. And of course, as y'all know, this is their interpretation of Creed Aventus Cologne. Alright? I made a review on this. Check it out below. If y'all want to check that video out, go ahead. Alright? That's that was my initial review. This is my top five. We'll get we'll talk about every single one of them little by little. Not a full-on review of these five. Just a top five of my duels. That's it. Okay. I got my test strip right here. Because, of course, I have five of them. I'm just not going to spray them all over my hands. Right? So, Poseidon's Cologne. Test strip. Let's go. Nice, nice sprayer by door. I smell it before I even put it on my nose. Wow, beautiful, beautiful opening. You get that mint right off the back, that green apple, pineapple, ginger, that mandarin orange, all sweet, coming all together with a burst of freshness. This is not one that you can't go wrong with. I'm telling you, all summer long, if y'all want to make this y'all signature scent, by all means, go ahead. Beautiful, beautiful. Fresh, aquatic, citrusy. You cannot go wrong. There it is. Number five spot. Poseidon's Cologne. Let me smell it one more time before I put it down. Wow. Nice scent. Up at number four. Another hit that I could not go wrong with right here. I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me that this is a banger from Dua. And for some reason, every time it gets stocked, it sells out. Of course, Bianca Pura. There it is. Nice, nice label right there. Check that out. Yes, sir. That white. How it shimmers with that silver. Nice, simple, beautiful label. Bianca Pura right here. All right. So let's get our test strip. Spray this on a test strip. There we go. Nice burst. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Amazing. Wow. I see why y'all love this right here. I see why y'all love this. I got to get a backup bottle of this. Number four spot. Bianca Pura. That first initial spray. You get that heavy burst of clean linen. With a nice subtle pear. Right on it. That pear is beautiful. Mmm. You get that fresh pear with the uh, 
the skin, it also it almost smelled like that pear skin. Nice green, clean scent. I would wear this with a white t-shirt all day and you can pull it off. And I assure with this right here, y'all will get compliments right here. Wow. This smells just like a dryer sheet. Clean linen you can't go wrong with. It is inspired by Creed White Cologne. I have not smelled that. But if it smells anything like this, I'm sure y'all know that price for that White Cologne Creed, right? A lot of us can't afford that. But Dua, they do a good job with recreating and making it affordable. Mm. All I get with this, clean linen, clean clothes, white t-shirt, pear, subtle, all blended together. Bianca Buda right there. That is our number four spot. All right. At our number three spot. And this came, became a hit too. One of the newer releases. This dropped a couple weeks ago. And it might be still on the site. And for some reason, y'all go crazy too whenever this come on. Of course. Number three. We got... None other than Azure Supernova 2.0. Check that out. Check that label out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's nice. You can't go wrong with that. You can't. Nice, simple label. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Hold on. There we go. Check that out. Them purples with the blues. With that little subtle pink hint to it. It's a hit. Now a lot of people love it. So I'm here to tell you. If you ain't got this. You got to get it. Alright. So this is of course. A tribrid. Of Aqua de Gio Profundo. Roja Parfums Elysium. And Creed Aventus. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. Okay? Of course, number three. Let's get our test strip. Nice burst. Mmm. Mmm-mm. Had to sit in for a little while. This is nice. Right off the back, what do I get? You already know what I'm about to say. Aqua de Gio Profundo. That's all I get from this. You just know the Aqua de Gio DNA. As soon as you smell it, you know it's Aqua de Gio. And this is what you get from it. A nice, fresh, clean, aquatic scent that will have people asking, what are you wearing in that day at the park or cookout? It's beautiful. Citrusy. Aquatic. Mm. You get that green mandarin. Grapefruit. That lime. The lemon. The pineapple. All working together. A little bit of that black currant in there. This is nice. There we go. Number three. Azure Supernova. A nice aquatic freshy. That will get you compliments for sure. Alright. So. We're coming down to the top two. And I have over 30 bottles of Dua. I'm at about 34 right now. And it was a hard choice. But I'm down to my last two. Alright. So. Coming in at number two. It is one of the newer releases by Dua. That is Midnight Caribbean Rendezvous. One of my favorite labels also. Check that out. That nice subtle green beach and moon backdrop with that old school in the front. They did a good job with that one. Yes, sir. 
This is my number two spot right here. All right. And for y'all that don't know, this is a hybrid between La Nuit de Lome by East St. Laurent and Creed Virgin Island Water. I said it in my initial review, and I'll say it right now. You would never think these two would work, but it works. It definitely does. And with the cardamom heavy, with the coconut from the uh, Creed Virgin Island water, it definitely works. Well blended. All right. Let's pull out the test strip. Get that out. Oh, my God. I've had this sitting for a little while. And it's gotten a little bit more stronger on that cardamom. And I told y'all in my initial review that I feel like Dua should have upped the cardamom up and made it more balanced with the virgin line of water. Because initially when I smelt it, it was fresher and all I could get was virgin island water. And I wanted that La Nuit de Lone to stick out more. It's definitely coming in. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Beautiful. Mmm. You get that lime. That mandarin. You get the white rum, the cardamom, all well blended. The beautiful. Mmm. Here comes more of that Virgin Island water. That bergamot. Citrusy at the same time. Creamy from the cardamom. This is one that you can't go wrong with. And I feel like this is this could be pulled off three seasons. It could definitely be pulled off in three seasons. Spring, fall, and summer. Perfect. Mmm. This bounce off so beautiful off this test strip. You cannot go wrong with this one. Very nice by Dua. And here it is, everybody. Drum roll, please. My number one Dua fragrance for summer. Here we go. Let's see. What y'all think about this? Let's see how many of y'all is going to be with me on this one. It's perfect for summer. Here we go. Coming in at number one is Imperial Matrix. Yes, sir. And ladies, if y'all don't know, this was my first review ever. And it was a little cringy. I'm not going to lie. Now I'm getting a little bit more comfortable for the camera. But this Imperial Matrix by Dua, it's a certified hit. I'm telling you. This thing right here had a lot of people talking in the Facebook group. That's why it made me get it. And this is one of my first Duas. I believe this was my third purchase from Dua. And as soon as I smelled it, I was blown away. Once I received this shipment, it got me hooked to Dua. I'm not going to lie. The first two shipments I got from Dua, it was more of a hype thing. I was buying because I saw other people buying. I'm going to keep it honest in this channel. I, I kept buying because I saw people buying. But once I bought this, it made me a believer. I kept purchasing. I'm at 34 I got three more on the way, and we're going to get right into this, all right? I got the test strip, nice spray, I smell it right now, oh my god, this is beautiful, man, I love this stuff, look at the tint, look at the tint on the fragrance, it's green, resembles like dishwashing soap or detergent that's how clean this is oh my god 
you get the heavy, heavy, salty watermelon. Very well blended. It's just perfect. It is. And of course, this is a hybrid between Creed Millicene Imperial and Zerjov Neo. Okay? And I tell you what, man, this is my number one right here. My number one summer scent. Mm. It's very well blended with the Matrix. Wow. That nice Neroli, bergamot, lemon, that green, mandarin. Like I said, that watermelon coming up front. Mm. You get a little bit of sandalwood in the background that you cannot go wrong with. This is nice. Great for summer, all day long, all night. I see myself wearing this any summer day, and you will not offend anybody. They will love you for wearing this. Yeah, I said it. They will love you for wearing this, and you yourself will love this. Simple as that. Number one, Imperial Matrix. All right, everybody. That concludes... This top five for summer. Thanks for coming in. Let me smell it one more time. Oh my God, it smells so damn good. Imperial Matrix, number one, like I said. Thanks again for coming in. Checking, out, checking in with me and checking out my channel, Indie Sense. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, like the video, leave some comments. I get back to everybody. And yeah. Catch me on the next one. Have a good one.